What is up world? I'm Maddie Beeves, the cinematographer. Welcome back to another episode. So good to see you guys' faces. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the cinematographer's starter kit. Now this starter kit, I personally handpicked and put together via Amazon, and I kept it under $2,000. So with $2,000, you're going to be able to get a camera, lenses, microphone, and many other things. So let's get into today's episode in three, two, one, go. <laughs> this cinematographer starter kit, I have handpicked all the gear and equipment so that you can start being a cinematographer today. <laughs> so first thing on the list is obviously the camera. Now this camera is the Canon Rebel T7i. Now this camera you've either heard of or you've never heard of in your life. <laughs> it's not the 80D, 70D, or even the 60D. It's a step below, but the video features on this are still awesome. Now this is an APS-C size sensor camera, which means it's not a full frame camera. It's a Super 35 camera, which is a little bit smaller than the full frame. And this camera does offer Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC connectivity. So if you want to use your smartphone to control the camera, you totally can do that, whether it be via tapping it with the NFC or with the Bluetooth connectivity. Now, spoiler alert, this camera is not a 4K camera. I repeat, this camera is not a 4K camera. It does do full 1080p in 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. One of the main reasons why I really like this camera is because it does do 1080p at 60 frames per second. So if you want to get that really nice looking slow motion footage, you can totally do it with this camera because it shoots at 60 frames per second. Once you slow it down, it's going to look really nice. Cool. Let's talk about lenses now. The set of lenses that I have chose are all prime lenses and they're all Canon FD lenses. These lenses were made in the 80s, so they do have a look to them. They're not going to be as sharp as anything new, but they will add character to your picture. And these lenses are the 28mm, the 35mm, and the 50mm. I think it's a really good idea for all cinematographers to start off with prime lenses. This is going to give you an understanding of how the lenses look different, like what a 28 looks versus a 35 and how a 35 looks different from a 50 millimeter. Most of these lenses open up as wide as a 2.8 all the way up to a 1.8 with a 50 millimeter. So it's going to give you great depth of field and it's going to give you a nice cinematic look. This is all very important as as you continue to move on in your career, prime lenses are going to be the sharpest and the best lenses that will give you the most cinematic look. Prime lenses, you're absolutely going to need an ND filter, which is one of these. ND filter stands for neutral density filter, so it's going to cut down on the light without sacrificing any of the color in your image. So what that's going to allow you to do is to stay wide open with your aperture as you're filming. These are super crucial, especially when it's a bright sunny day outside. This is going to help you balance out your camera so that you can have the best dynamic range. All right, now that we got lenses out of the way, let's talk audio. So the audio that I am suggesting you guys use is going to be the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now I'm using this mic right now, and as you can hear, it sounds pretty darn good. Now this microphone is gonna allow you to adjust the gain on it. So if you need more sensitivity with your mic, you can do that with this particular mic. This mic is a little bit pricey, so if you wanna go down a step, you can definitely get this mic here, which is the Rode mic. Now what makes this mic different from the Video Mic Pro is that you're not gonna be able to adjust the gain on it. Both of these mics do plug directly into the camera, so it's really nice, it can mount in the hot shoe mount. All right, moving on to the memory card, we have the 64 gigabyte SD card. This is a class 10 type three card, which is a great card it moves media very very quickly and filming at 1080p this is a great memory card for the camera all right so now moving on to one of the most important things on the list which these are going to be the newer led lights which come in a pack of two and they can change color temperature from 3200 kelvin all the way to 5600 kelvin these are great lights because it does comes with the stand and they do have barn doors so you can shape you can direct where that light's going to hit and it's going to be awesome because again they are portable they're light and they do not get hot so this is going to be a great buy and also they throw in two carrying pouches which is going to be really nice when you're on the go you don't want to be carrying loose things i've done that before it's not fun so the fact that you have something to carry it with is going to be really awesome and last but not least let's talk about the tripod this is the manfrotto lightweight super portable small tripod i really like this tripod because it does have a fluid head now most smaller cheaper tripods don't come with a fluid head but manfrotto I did not slouch on this tripod so i hope you guys found that starter kit to be helpful maybe it opened your eyes to buying something new maybe your next camera maybe your next lens maybe even the next tripod so if you guys have any questions at all drop them in the comments i'd love to talk about it and also if you guys want to purchase any of these items that we talked about in this episode you can find the links in the description below they're all through my Amazon affiliate account. So anything you do buy helps out my channel. I truly appreciate it. But if you guys like today's episode, go ahead and do a super jump on that like button if you so please. And if you want to see some more videos like this, some more cinematographer quick tips, vlogs, go ahead and get subscribed to the channel. See you guys on the next one. This is Maddie Beeves, the cinematographer. Peace.